I'll tell you this. If you guys want to feel alive, maybe you guys are going through a lull in your life. You guys are just feeling like everything's bland. Come get Indonesian food. Wake you right up. That's true. <laughs> what are you laughing? I couldn't focus. I just kept eating it. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special Indonesian episode of Fung Bros Food. Today we are having a huge Indonesian feast like we've never done before. This is an official Liwatan feast. We're gonna be eating with our hands. All right, and you know we couldn't have a feast without some friends. We got Nelson Chan for Hoopin' Life. What's going on, guys? Man, I, I no, have you eat. ever had Indonesian food before? I have not, man, so I'm excited to get some feast in there, you know what I'm saying? Like... All right, and then on my right side, we're just gonna call him Fang. What's up, everybody? It's my first time eating Indonesian food. Thank you guys for having me here for a new experience. You never yeah. performed in Indonesia? I no, I've never been to Indonesia. It's just a little background. He's from Quest Crew. You know him. Can we just do a little two second thing? You know, Indonesian food's kind of popping right now. We're here at Kasi in Little Tokyo. You guys ready for this? Hell yeah. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> This has got to be one of the most impressive spreads I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, we are here with Ron and Ray from Kasi, guys. Thank you so much. What are the different cultures that you would find mixed into the Indonesian cuisine? Because there's so many. So the main ones are Dutch, Chinese, Japanese, a lot of Arabic, and Indian. And Liwatan is a feast that you eat with your hands. It's on banana leaves, mm -hmm. and it's for celebrations. It can be for anything from celebrations to gatherings, mainly. Ron, you're actually Filipino, right? Uh, so yes. I've had a Kamayan dinner before, mm -hmm. the Filipino one. It, it, does it kind of look similar? Our countries are, are pretty close together, so there's a lot of a uh, lot of influence back and forth. Right. What are we looking at here? We have asinan salad, which is an Indonesian slaw, yellow turmeric rice, which is turmeric with uh, lemongrass steamed into it with coconut milk. We have Balinese street corn. We have satay ayam, uh, which is chicken skewers. We have tempeh. Tempeh is very popular in Indonesia. What we have here is our introduction if you will, to Indonesian food. So the sambal, sambal is refers to the dipping sauce. You can find all over Indonesia. There's thousands of different ver versions, but what we have here is our sambal dabu dabu. So it's kind of like a salsa. Sambal ijo, which is green sambal. Sambal nanas, pineapple sambal, my personal favorite. Next to that is a very traditional sambal terasi, which okay. is shrimp paste sambal. So right here is our house turmeric pickled vegetables. Oh. In Indonesia, it's called achar. That has a lot of influence from uh, Arabia. Enjoy guys. All right, man, thank you. You got the flour our petals in the water, yeah, okay, we're gonna dip yeah. our fingers. And you mostly, and you gotta eat with your right hand, right? right hand. Yes. Traditionally, so yeah. So watch the right hand. I'm oh, trying the pineapple sambal. Pineapple one. I'm, I'm gonna go with the original. This is like the OG. traditional OG uh, one right here. Right. A first of many sambal bites. Cheers. Mm. Sweetness of the chip, balancing out with that strong shrimp flavor. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna try this, uh, kind of the, oh. the salsa style one. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Wow. There's definitely a kick to it. I took this uh, pico de gallo looking salsa and I was expecting the tomato taste, mm -hmm. but there's definitely less tomato and more kick. Going on with the ceviche. A little bit. Yeah. Mm. Little oh, it's very fresh. fresh. Yeah, yeah, it tastes fresh. like ceviche. The green, green one tastes one like salsa deep. very look. So far, I like the shrimp. The taste isn't overpowered by the spiciness. The spiciness is what I noticed the most. But this one, the shrimp comes through for me. I personally like the pineapple one. Pineapple, you get a little sweetness in there. So we, mm. we starting with the slaw and the rice combo slaw first? Slaw and the rice. Okay. Okay. Throwing a little pork in there. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Let's do the chicken skewer. Chicken, I'm, dipping it, I'm dipping it in the saute sauce, guys. Saute, mm. <clears throat> Carl? Oh, I like that peanut sauce. It's actually some other peanut sauces I've had actually taste too much like peanut butter. But this actually has like a true peanut taste. That's true. <laughs> what are you laughing? I couldn't focus. I just kept eating it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, let's move on to the okay. pork. Peep this pork. Oh my gosh. So this is crispy pork. Are we oh, let me this? dip this. Mmm. That pork is crazy. We got to dip. The pork and one of these sambals. I'm gonna dip into my favorite one. Fang's using the chip. You're gonna put the meat in there yep. too? I'm gonna make a little. Oh, make wow. Like a little tortilla? Wow. A little nacho situation. I'm gonna load up a chip mm -hmm. with some of these uh, pickled veggies right here. You, you got the rice in there? Got the rice in there. There's something about eating with your hands. I feel like you get more in touch with the food to a certain extent. <clears throat> oh, hell yeah. yeah. Palms start sweating up, and then it adds more flavor to your food. Oh, so right. as, you're, as, as you're eating more spicy food, you're sweating more, your hands are sweating. 
Yo. That's next level. Yes. That's, that's very traditional. That's yeah. Yeah. Now, first of all, right Nell's food gonna taste like basketballs. <laughs> <laughs> and Feng's gonna taste like whatever floor he was spinning on. <laughs> I'm going in. Crazy, crazy. Mmm. Oh, that was good? That was good. All right, I'm going with mine. Think, just think about it, I just ate pineapple chicken. One thing I really like about the food here is that you could pair it with pretty much anything and it just tastes really good. So this is like a fermented soybean cake kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, so this is like block, chopped up, it's fried tempeh. tempeh. Mm. Oh wow, I like that. Oh. It, almost, it almost had a very strong nutty taste. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll tell you this, if you guys want to feel alive, maybe you guys are going through a lull in your life, you guys are <laughs> just feeling like everything's bland, come get Indonesian food. Wake you right up. Another thing I like about doing the feast style is that you know we just have random friends rolling through Kasi, and, and I gotta introduce you guys to one friend. We got Clarissa. She is from Indonesia, from Hi. Jakarta. What's going on? What's up? Hello. What up? Hey. You're familiar with all these foods that oh, you've yeah, had. Yeah, for sure. So this is even a, a style of food that not everybody eats because you you haven't even had it that many times, right? Right, because I'm from the city. Indonesia is a really big country. It's the fourth biggest country in the world. Yeah. Just like America is a really big country, and there's a lot of variety from neighborhood mm -hmm. to neighborhood. That's the uh, ayam rujak right there. Grilled chicken. Next to that is the uh, the little burlado. So burlado is kind of like the uh, chili relish. So this is a fried egg, right? Yeah, like a fried egg. hard boiled egg. That's See, crazy. this is different. Hard it's hard a fried <laughs> hard boiled you egg. You cooked so it twice. Yes, yes. twice uh, cooked so eggs. Eat it though. Just get it. Hey, you know how Chinese do twice cooked pork? That's twice cooked. Yo, rip that open. First bite. I do a first bite. Wow. <laughs> oh. No, that is a yeah. real authentic reaction from them. Let me see that. No, you love hard boiled eggs. It's the skin. I hide. It's so good. Do? <laughs> but this is on another level, man. Like, this is crazy, bro. Mmm. Wow. Were so One of the best so eggs I've ever had. Honestly. Yo, I don't even know I've ever seen an egg with a bigger yolk before. Bro, life. you guys right. ready to read the I eat the I am? Oh my oh, gosh. This chicken is just falling apart. Like, yo. I mean, mm. straight up first. Did that got you? Wow. Thing, yeah. you asked uh -huh. for something right. that was of native Indonesian spice yeah. level. Oh Ooh. my gosh. Let me, let me cleanse my <clears throat> palates. Yes. Oh man. First my hand. Oh. Right. I, you know, I'll join you, Feng. I'll I'm do with it. You. I'm do with it. you. This is uh, sambal bajak. Okay. okay. It's got three different kinds of red chilies in there. Mm. And terrace. So it's it's up there. Sambal bajak. Deep red, deep red. Like the chili taste is really flavorful off top, but I will say right when it hit the back of my throat, it went numb. So I'm numb right now in the back of my okay, mouth. Okay, really? Yeah. I like that rush at first. Yeah. Woo! It, it wasn't like hot ones like trying to shut you down. It was very hot, but still with the taste like trying to be very tasty. And I would say very enjoyable. Is that normal What'd for you? you? That's normal. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Oh, the oh, corn, we didn't oh, eat the, the corn, corn yet. The Balinese We're corn. Yeah. Still get this corn. We made our own terrace <laughs> butter. <laughs> so it's a sambal terrace, but in butter instead. Mmm, that sounds good. Sambal butter, man. Mmm, mm, that's good. That roasted flavor. Yep. Oh, my God. Yo, the butter's kicking, bro. No, yo, that's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the spiciest bite because it had the, the chilies on top. Yo, you guys, this Li Watan feast was amazing. What was your guys' favorite thing? Yeah. I like the different variety of sauces that comes with the meal. You have your options about what you want to eat for the meal. Nah, I like the egg, man. The egg, that's like the first time I ever ate an egg that style. Yo, I'm never mad at fried chicken. That and that true. was my favorite. I think this goes well with all of these sambals. I would say the sambal's the best because like, I eat everything with sambal. It reminds me of home. I but did you know this is not even all that we're gonna try today. Nah. For real? Because they got some dishes. <laughs> you crazy. I they got some done. They got some next level dishes that we, material. That, that we, we have try. to have here at Kase. We Look got like some dishes at the next table. We're gonna go over there. And at bomb. Okay, we got some other dishes here that we are trying. These I've look, never seen these. These look really fancy. So what are, what are we looking at, man? You already seen the tempeh. Now we're just kind of elevated it a little bit more. That's a lamb curry. That's it's a lamb, lamb neck. Very meaty. Oh man, that's lamb a very neck. specific part of the lamb. Yeah. lamb neck. Like he's oh, a yeah. lamb neck. Our head chef, he's got a lot of uh, Thai influence, okay. so the curry is very uh, Thai. So what you have here, very delicate, is a snapper ceviche. The sambal matza, it's one of the other samples. It's a raw sample. So you got the uh, lemongrass, shallots, red chilies, and lime. You can still see a lot of the traditional Indonesian elements in this, even though this probably doesn't look like traditional food. 
Yeah. This is made in-house. Yes, made in-house. Grilled house. bread. Grilled bread, this guys. Bread. Toast. Toast. What's <laughs> up, man? I got mm. okay. Have you had lamb neck before? Yes, I have. Nelson, Fang, lamb neck ever? No. no I've never had lamb neck. Okay. I'm having a butter lettuce wrap. Oh, that is part of it. Slab of the mushroom here. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that lamb curry is so good. Oh yeah. god. I definitely see the Thai influence. Kind of got that like coconut flavor. Yeah. The skin is super, super yeah. tasty and it's super soft on the inside. It's so good. Because the skin on the outside was crispy, but the inside wasn't overcooked. I'm trying the raw sambal ceviche. I love sambal mata, man. No, you guys. It's the Asian ceviche. Almost tastes like Peruvian, but more Asian. But the sambal mata just we got Zach here. And this is the pan-seared uh, premium striped bass with uh, sambal matzo herb salad, mm. pickled kumquat, I pickled star fruit, if you're lime oil. Sea bass, <laughs> kick his ass, sea bass. <laughs> That's my favorite line to ever have sea bass in it. So the star fruit, mm. with the sea bass. Star fruit, sea bass. With the sea bass. <laughs> oh! Your sea bass. Good. I really like that, um, the lime sauce. We have some uh, bebek goreng here. Mm. This is the fried duck. This is probably my favorite food in Indo. This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Because when you crack, first crack came in at the, the table, table. Show, show. you're like, is that duck? Is that chicken? Is that the duck or the chicken? Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, I'm packing this duck bite right here. Anything else? Should I sprinkle it with some lime? Mm -hmm. And that sauce. And a sauce, so I, I, I like spread on it. a lot of sauce. Sambal ijo is actually my favorite sambal that i found out so far. No. That's good. Oh my god. Mm. You know what I love about the fried birds that we had today? The batter was not too thick. Like, right. there was really not really any batter at all. It's pretty clean. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. It can do some heavy lifting. It can make a lot of things good. We had a feast. Did sure we, did. we had a feast? <laughs> we sure did. What was your favorite, man, from this round? I'm gonna have to say the duck with the sauce. Plus sauce. The, big the big sauce big. is crucial. I, I was a big fan of the lamb curry. What would you like? The duck. Uh, you were looking for the duck. You I were sick of it. I said, walked into the building like, where's my duck? That's yeah. my favorite thing in the Where's the Nell? The lamb curry, okay. by far, I think, is best. I was actually really feeling that star fruit, but man, I gotta go with the, the duck. What are your major takeaways? I definitely would say that this is the upper class kind of Indonesian food, the way they present it back home wouldn't be as presented as this way. This is my legitimate first time eating Indonesian food, and I've got to say, you know, it kind of blew my mind. My major takeaway is that, you know, culturally, Asians got hell good food. <laughs> <laughs> I would say there's a lot of flavors, but I've never had it put together in this way before. Man, I love to see how the cultures are interconnected, and you know, we were talking about like the similarities between Thai, and Filipino, Indonesian. I love to see it because sometimes I think about the similarities sometimes between like China, Japan, and Korea. And there's so many like loan words and shared dishes there too. But but at the same time, really its own unique identity. A lot of people don't realize that Indonesia is a huge country. Uh, there's a lot of islands. There's a lot of people. Fourth most populated country in the entire world. So if you think about such a populated country, of course the food would be diverse and delicious. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching that Indonesian food episode, man. Shout out to all the friends that came out. We got Nelson, we got Fang, we got Clarissa. In the comments below, let me know what other cuisines you guys would like to see a modern version of. There might be a restaurant around LA that has it. This was a dope episode, and you know, I think the Li Wutan feast accomplished the camaraderie. I felt it. I mean, we sat together at a table with banana leaves and we ate with our hands and we tried spicy sambal. Come to Kasi and do the same with your friends. Thanks for watching that video. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for watching that video. Uh, basically, we are gonna be releasing a lot more content that we always wanted to give you guys. We never really had a good way of doing it and that's why we wanna tell you guys that we are starting YouTube memberships. So basically, if you subscribe to the membership channel, you are gonna get tons of exclusive content. You're gonna get exclusive photos, exclusive videos. We're gonna be doing NBA talks, comments on comments. You're gonna be getting merch discounts. Basically, you can just click the join button right there. It is only $4.99 per month and it's gonna go all on our community tab right here so it's exclusive content that you're only gonna see if you're a member but I think I think you might really like it yeah we're gonna be gonna delving really like deep it. into a lot of topics and we got some thoughts man yeah deep thoughts so it's starting on January 30th so go ahead please uh, sign up today and check it out all right everybody thanks for watching that video until next time we out peace, peace.